In this video, I show you how to download and install apps on your Roku TV. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. You may want to go and get more apps on your Roku TV so you can go and stream more shows. And this is quite an easy process, so make sure you keep watching. So firstly, you need to come to your home page. Just go onto your remote and go and tap on that home button just there, and you'll be taken here. Then if you go over to the right, these are all the apps you currently have, all these different ones here. So I'm just going to go back over to the left by pressing on that left button. And to go and get more apps, you first need to go down to streaming channels. Just scroll down like so and then tap OK or select. And this will then take you to the channel store. And what you can do is go and find the app. So you could go and look in featured, recommended. Uh, you've got a load of genres down there as well. Or if there's one specific one you want, then go and tap on search and you can go and type it in. So just go and navigate using your remote as you usually would. So in this case, I'm going to go and get Paramount. So I'm going to go and scroll down and then go and tap OK or select on Paramount. And then as you can see, we then have the add channel button. So I'll tap on it like so. And then as you can see, it now says adding channel and it says adding Paramount Plus just like that. So just wait as it's basically downloading the app. And there we go. As you can see, it says Paramount Plus has been added. To move it, we can go and highlight it, which is fine. So then just go and tap OK like so. And so then to go and look at the app, all you need to do is come back to your remote, tap on that home button once again and then go over to the right hand side and then scroll down and as it said it was right at the end and there it is paramount so i'll then go and tap on it like so and i can then go and set up my account and do whatever i need to do with the app to go and start using it so if you guys found this useful please consider leaving a like peace